Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? Happy Thursday. Um, it is beautiful here in Northern California today. Um, I'm a little bit later than I normally am. I um, I was, <clears throat> excuse me, able to dance samba this morning, which I love to dance Brazilian samba. I dance it multiple times a week. This is what I do for exercise and um, and community and socialization um, and fun. I love to dance. So um, anyway, so I always have a great day after I start my day with dance. I actually started with a HIT class, which is a high intensity interval training class. And it really worked us this morning. <laughs> yeah, it was not easy. And then to dance cardio samba afterwards is, is um, it's quite a morning, but I feel great. So anyways, I hope you do too. Please let me know where you are tuning in from today. Um, we wanna create our network uh, across the globe of uh, everyone who is here, who is participating, who is with us right now as we um, pick a card to help us, support us throughout our day today. Um, we create an intention of um, selecting a card that is for all of us to help us on our royal path in life and, um, and uh, showing us that we all um, experience similar things in life. We all experience the ups and downs of life and we are um, all together and not alone. We experience certain parts of the path differently at times, um, but we can all, all of these ideas and concepts are just human um, conditions, things that the human being um, can think about. So anyways, I've been shuffling the cards. I already used the Palo Santo on them and um, let's see what we need to think about or focus on today. And we got the Six of Cups. <clears throat> the Six of Cups. And Cups is the suit that represents our emotions and um, water is the element that it represents. And in this card, um, it looks like we are sharing. Um, we are sharing with someone. It looks like flowers, really beautiful flowers. Um, this is a happy feeling card, a uh, feeling of like, um, like we have enough, like we have abundance in our emotions and we can give. We are in the position of giving right now. And, um, and we are fortified with um, the town behind us, with the castle, and, um, and we have these beautiful flowers that are all in vases. So it's like this flourishing of our emotions, this sort of stability and optimism and happiness um, in life right now. And so it's the, um, I don't know if she's buying them or if he's giving them to her, but either way, there's this feeling of abundance and generosity. So if she's buying them, she has enough money to purchase them and she is in an abundant state. And if she is receiving them as a gift, that is him being in an abundant state where he can be generous and give. So um, this is a really beautiful card. It's got great energy. Um, and I would love to see um, what um, uh, Rebecca Magic has to say about it on the Royal Path. Card number six of the Suit of Cups. So she says, innocence, purity, and healing. Your current relationships in life are offering you an opportunity to renew your innocence and integrate more kindness into your communications. Use your relationships as rituals to create a change within yourself, choosing to shift your response in a way that allows for more of your authentic self to come through. Lighten your heart by sweetening your words and the tone behind them. See the child in yourself and within those around you. 
Before relating to someone, first try to see their innocence and true light behind any fear or hesitation. We are so quick to relate to people from a place of pain, anger, resentment, or fear. Instead, attempt to breathe more space in between your judgments so that your awareness may expand into compassion. Consider the succeeding card, the Seven of Cups. What lies ahead of you is a time where you will see through illusions and temptations. In order to prepare for this time, it's imperative that you begin accessing the wisdom of the Six of Cups, invoking your innocence and connecting with others in your environment from a heart-centered space. This way you will become a clear mirror of truth and all that does not reflect the truth will be exposed. So come at it from a heart-centered place of innocence. I love that. That's really beautiful. And, um, and then you can um, kind of tap into sort of the abundance that you feel um, from that place of innocence, that um, freedom that you feel when you're innocent. You're not, you're not bogged down by fear and, um, you know, challenges in life. So invoke that fear or that freedom that you get from the innocence, from um, looking at things um, and preparing yourself for the future. So I hope you enjoyed that today, guys. I see you. I hear you. I'm here for you and I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.